Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 with Everton. We are now on the 3rd of April. We've had our youth intake. It, it wasn't good. I'll show you a couple of the, the highlights. I guess they're highlights. They're probably not really highlights, but I'll show you them in a minute. We've also played a few games in the league. As you can tell from the league table on the left-hand side, we are currently 8th, which the board aren't particularly pleased with. So manager performance-wise, um, it's the club vision. And the reason why they hate the club vision is because we are failing pretty much everything that we can possibly fail now. Obviously, we've just been knocked out of the Europa League, we've been knocked out of the FA Cup thanks to Watford, and we're not going to be qualifying for the Champions League because we are a very, very long way away from getting anywhere near the top four. So since the last episode, which was the 1-0 defeat against Milan, uh, let's not talk about Dodo, shall we? He's kind of, I say redeemed himself, he's not done anything special. We've played four league games and we've got a bit of a mixed bag of results as you can see. A 1-0 win up against Watford, Richarlison with the goal for us. Against Southampton, a 1-1 draw, Moise Keane scoring a goal for us which basically saved the day. We probably should have lost this, we were not very good as a very loud vehicle drives past. Against West Ham, we were awful. We weren't awful. I keep saying this. We weren't awful. We just conceded two very questionable goals. Sebastian Haller with both goals for West Ham. Richarlison once again scoring for us. And then against Aston Villa, returning back to winning ways. And a very good victory against Aston Villa. Apart from the fact that Sandro, our former player, did score against us after just 13 seconds. Moise Keane with two. Paolo Giglione also scoring his first ever goal for the club. Today, it is going to be Leeds United down in 17th place in the table. It should be another easy victory. Now, I'm not quite sure the best way of showing off our youth intake, other than going to our under-18s and looking at anyone who's a baby. Um, so I think, possibly from here downwards, might have been the intake. So, Charlie Sears is okay, he's not amazing. Hold on, we've got a better way of doing this. Youth players, there we go. So this is what's come through. Quick fly through, Lewis Smith, goalkeeper. He is probably the best, best one of the lot that has come through. Sam Buckle, 17-year-old English midfielder, doesn't look too bad. Ben Fitzpatrick looks like a reasonable option as a striker if he could only finish. Charlie Sears, who we just had a very brief look at as a central midfielder who's okay. I think potentially an underrated player is Jim Barker, 17-year-old English central defender. And another one, and the final one, should I say, who looks like he might be underrated is Neil Wright, and he's got a lovely red bandana on as well. Let's jump in then to the Leeds United game. We are on inc inconsistent form, but it is because we have played Milan in that little batch of five fixtures, and the defeat against West Ham obviously does not really help us out much at all. We are, what, 49 points. So, we're 10 points off of Europa League. Champions League, sorry, not Europa League. Um, although, Arsenal are also on 59 points, so we're still a long way from Europa League as well. The starting lineup we're going to go for then against Leeds. We are sticking with the 5 2 1 2 wingback vertical tiki taka. In goal will be Jordan Pickford, Ethan Ampadu, Marcos Sanessi, and Kick Pierre will be the back three. Paolo Giglioni and Dodo will be the two wing backs. It was almost digital Sidibe, but he's just returned from a bit of an injury. Jude Bellingham and Yangel Herrera will be the two central midfielders. Bellingham will be playing as a deep lying playmaker on support. It might not work. I don't know. We will find out. Gilfie Sigurdsson will be behind the strike partnership of Mario Balotelli and Moise Keane. Something I've noticed about Moise Keane, by the way. If you look under his favoured personnel, his idol is Mario Balotelli. Idol. Literally, he's playing with his idol. Also, I'm his favourite manager and Mancini. But I'm his current manager, so therefore his favourite manager. Well, that certainly is a striking look for uh, Leeds United there. That's not even bright pink. That is fluorescent pink. Is that actually their real kit? I mean, it looks like they're wearing white. But for some reason, this is decided to be in fluorescent pink. Fair enough. Okay, they're wearing like a dark blue against our dark blue. Well, royal blue, I guess. But that's a bit of a kit clash. Throwing on the right-hand side for Giglioni for us. Finds Balotelli. Back to the Italian Giglioni. We've got a weird amount of Italians in our side. Bellingham crosses in. Moise Keane at the back. It's a great save from Casilla. It's... Oh, it was almost... Almost Mario Balotelli was there. We've got a throw in, but we're not going to see it. I've just seen Leeds United playing Jack Stevens. That could be great for us. Dodo's corner comes in. Moise Keane, his header is saved by Casilla, who kicks it straight upfield. But I think that was Senesi who intercepted that. 25 minutes in, I think it's a matter of time before we score a goal on this. It's not been particularly exciting though. Three shots, five shots now, still nothing. 
It's a header down. Patrick can clear the ball. Up forward, though. Pierre's going to intercept it. What a shocking pass that is from the Dutch wonder kid. Now Roberts is running forward. He's pushed out wide. He's managed to get round his man. Goes for goal. Hits the side netting. That was an awful pass from kick. It's going to be nil-nil at half time, And this is going to be probably a very quick episode if it goes like this. It is nil-nil at half time. Six shots, just two on target. Jude Bellingham's having a great game as that deep line playmaker. So that's good news. Peter Elstrup says, tell him it was disappointing. I agree. And then I'll do that. And good, he didn't shout at anyone or try and fix anything. No changes at the break. It will be Sigurdsson or Balotelli, or maybe and Balotelli, coming off at some point, ailing with the throw to Bogus, maybe. Paul Dummett gets round his man because he's the world's best footballer. How is Paul Dummett playing in the Premier League? I'm sorry. I don't know the man. I don't know if he's any good at football, but he just doesn't seem like he should be playing in the Premier League. Phillips to Bogus who I think is Polish. Shackleton running through on goal. Pickford can save the ball. Leeds United have started the second half brightly. We have not. I mean, Paul Dummett's on a 6.2, kind of proving my point. He's just dropped down to a 6.1, proving my point that he's not a Premier League footballer. Bellingham with the ball for us. Spreads it out to the left-hand side to Dodo. Moise Keane heads down, back to Dodo. He's got two in the box. We need some more options. He's going to get tackled, isn't he? He does get tackled. Keeps hold of the ball, though. Dodo crosses. Giglione's there at the back post. And the right-back's header is wide. Something isn't working, is it? Something's not working. We're having lots of chances to doing nothing with it. All right, Balotelli's coming off. Joseph Martinez is coming on. I said in the last episode that he's not going to play until he scored five for the under-23s. I think he scored three, so we'll give him a break. Just realise I need a goal, so I've brought on somebody who can't score goals. That's the dumbest thing I've done. It's going to be a nil-nil draw, isn't it? It's actually going to be a nil-nil draw. We have dominated everything here. And getting nothing out of it. We need to up the tempo, maybe? Just real high tempo. Let's get Keane off as well for Richarlison. That's what we're going to do. We've got five minutes. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be a nil-nil draw. Not going to lie, this is a disastrous result. Absolutely disastrous. The board have kind of been on my back about the recent performances. This is not going to help. 13 shots, three on target. Very few highlights. Obviously no goals, Balotelli zero chances overall, shots missed target. So Giglioni missed two, Ampadu missed one, Dodo missed one, Herrera missed one, Bellingham missed three. Why is he taking three shots? Balotelli also missing one, shot saved, I'm guessing, yep. So one from Moise Keane and one from Kick. Oh, and a shot blocked as well, which I guess was the third one on target from Dodo. Our strikers didn't do anything. Well, Team Talk Wise, you're getting an angry. You're coming in for training tomorrow. Herrera looks stressed. I, I don't care, mate. Goalless Balotelli worries Everton. He's not scored in nine hours. Martinez has now not scored in ten hours. This is the problem we're having. Strikers can't score goals. And I don't think it's through lack of trying. Well, obviously, that last match kind of showed it is through lack of trying, isn't it? How do we get the ball to our striker more? We've got to work the ball into the box. I mean, I feel like that's probably the best option. Maybe you do play for set pieces. We seem to be good with free kicks and corners because we've got the old corner technique. We've got Sigurdsson whipping in free kicks, taking shots for days. Maybe that's the thing we should try. Well, just having a quick look at the club vision, match performance and E rating. Absolutely appalling. That was absolutely appalling. And next match, we're going to lose our A plus for the 6-1 win against Palace. Which means we are probably going to be in a C- minus rating, I reckon, by the end of the next match. I don't think that is all the football for this weekend. It isn't. So we're going to go forward to the evening of the 5th of April, once all the matches have taken place. We're not going to drop down, but I'm more interested to see whether the board wants to have a chat with me, basically. Well, good news for us, I guess. Um, it is Monday evening. The board haven't moaned at us. We're going to have a quick check once again of the club vision just to see if it's changed. It hasn't, but they are now annoyed with the nil-nil draw they were annoyed with the fact that we sold Lorenzo Tonelli and disappointed that we lost to AC Milan Everton fans if there are any of you watching which I assume there probably are would you expect to beat AC Milan just just out putting it out there I'm not sure how good AC Milan are but I know from real life current Everton Everton aren't very good either so it's AC Milan everybody think about it that is going to do it then for today's episode. Next episode, where are we going to go? Let's have a quick scroll down. So, we've got six games left of the season. I'm thinking possibly Norwich. Maybe we'll go Norwich, then we'll do Chelsea, and we'll do Wolves. We'll do three final matches of the season just to see where we finish. 
and I suspect our contract is up at the end of this season and it won't get renewed, which is going to be a pain in the ass, because that's going to be the second time that's happened to me. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2020 with Everton. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back tomorrow with more Football Manager.